Hey, this is Shiraz just giving you a heads up that when energy shifts, I yawn and I cough. So you're going to hear that in the video and just giving you the heads up. I'm not sick. I'm not tired. That's just how it goes. So here we go. Enjoy. I need to move forward in my life in the sense that um, I am right now in a bit of limbo. Um, I had uh, sold my house uh, from divorce and I'm in my old parents' house that hasn't been sold yet. And in order for me to move ahead, um, I have uh, a sibling and myself are executors for the house. Mm -hmm. And every time I want to move ahead to sell the house, um, there's something, some delay or something comes up um, because I need to move forward and I need the sale of my half of the house and the sibling uh, doesn't have any, any worries in that department. Mm -hmm. So it's not an issue for them, but it's an issue for me. And I find that um, since I came here, I have to, um, um, because the house is half for both of us, but I'm living in the house. Um, there's just a negativity from the sibling. Like, is this disappearing? What's happening to this? It's constant. Uh, um, how should I say? Like just walking on eggshells, waiting for the next thing to come about what's happening here. So I really want to move forward and, um, and that's to sell the house and move forward. And um, I, I need the okay from her and it's not coming um, forthright. Okay. So, uh, wow. <coughs> Do you really want to sell the house? <laughs> I really want to move forward. That's not the question I asked. Do you really want to oh, sell? Oh, sorry. Sorry, say that again. Do you really want to sell the house? I, I do. Okay. Will selling the house, well, will selling the house result in good things? I'd like to believe so, yes. Okay, oh. so that's, that's not a yes. Oh. That's an I'd like to believe so. So is, is trying to sell the house, okay, so si trying to sell the house is resulting in conflict, right? Yes. Are you trying to avoid as much conflict as possible? Yes. Okay. So. There are times when yep. I'm not, when I'm very set yep. in stone and this is what I want to do. And it's almost like a force comes in and shuts it down. Yep. So. You are trying to avoid as much conflict as possible. And so things will keep shutting it down before you can get to that level of conflict. But you have to be willing to go through whatever it takes to get to the other side. And, and this is the thing, it's, um, I've done so many workshops, I don't know if I even put that up. The, did I put up the resistance versus willingness chart tonight? Um, no, I don't believe I think so. I did, okay. So, the universe works on resistance versus willingness. And however much you're trying to resist something bad happening, you're also resisting good things happening to the same extent. When you're okay with, you know what, I'm willing to lose all the money or go homeless or have the biggest fight of my life because that's, good, that's what I have to go through to get to the life I want, then everything just falls away and things start to move. Right? And you may have to go through that, but most likely when you're willing to, you just get the good stuff. Wow. So are you willing to step out of the story that you have to avoid any big conflicts or confrontations in your life? Yes, I'm, I'm ready. I have, been, <laughs> I have been in the past as well. And what will happen to this relationship 
if you do move forward and, and sell the house? I'll be having a lot of resistance mm -hmm. and um, I don't believe that it would sever the relationship. I think that I can handle uh, the fact of uh, it being rocky for a while, if it means I'm moving forward and then I think I would gain the respect um, that this is what I want to do and this is what I'm going to do. So are you sure you'll gain that respect? No, I'm not. Do you need to be sure? <coughs> I probably um, would like it okay. to work. So that's a yes, I need to be sure. So what it's coming down to is making sure you don't completely ruin this relationship is more important than the sale of the house, which is why you keep backing off. And again, I think it's you know, a, yeah, I think it's a belief, you know, from my mom, make it work, get yeah. along, all this yeah. kind of, and she has passed away and my dad has passed away. Okay. So are you willing to step out of your mom's story that you have to make it work no matter what? Yes. <coughs> so you have to be willing to have that possibility of losing this relationship for this to go through. It may not happen. And if you guys are as tight as you feel, it probably won't. It might just be that rocky road and everything works out. But if you feel that there's a possibility that you could lose the relationship and that's your priority, then you're not going to go through with the sale of the house. That's why the blocks keep coming up. So that's where the block is coming from? That's why you keep shutting it down. That's why it's not moving forward. Because your mom's story, make it work. You want, uh, put in the friendship first. And this is the thing, it's... I'm not saying, you know, just don't give a crap about your friends. You, you, want, you are hoping that the best thing will happen, but you have to be determined to go for the outcome that's most important to you consciously. And if that's the sale of the house, and th this person's going to benefit from the sale as well, right? Or is, is, or is it just you? Um, it's both of us. But as I say, like for uh, this person, money is no object. So, yeah. so it doesn't or, matter to them but it's not going to hurt them. They're just going to have some extra money. Yeah. Yes, but it, it, I guess it means that their control over me will be gone. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it's a total, con it's a total control. So yes. this is interesting because you're holding back on a conflict so that people, so that someone doesn't control you anymore. Yes, when I was at my other house that I sold, I mm -hmm. did everything. Um, I did everything and anything in the house and made it happen. Okay. Um, was it struggle? Was it challenging? Yes. But the fact to get to the other side of it, um, and I was so proud of myself. But here, um, so there I had the freedom to do whatever I want, to sell whatever furniture I want. And here, every single thing has to be uh, no, not now, or no, I want that. No, who do you think you are? And it's just, okay. um, there, it, it's a it's a control. I think that this person can't deal with the passing of, uh, of my mother, and okay. this is the hold. So there's a couple of things there is that, first of all, you're trying to hold on to a relationship of control, and that's things you should really let go of. But I'm sorry, that's... Other, that's sorry? something you should let go of. If someone's trying to control you, you... You need to change the dynamic of that relationship. But it could be a little deeper. Do you like being controlled? I, no, I actually, no, I, I really don't. Okay. But it's that fear of, you know, the sibling relationship or as I say, like for my parents, get along. Okay. So that wasn't entirely true. Is there safety and control? 
Is there a safety in control that, that this person has? Yeah, and, and anyone having control that do you feel safe when someone's in control? I guess they're the last family member from the nuclear family. Okay. So maybe okay. they act like a mother figure that my mother isn't here now. Yeah. So you're that as role. As, yeah. As much as you don't like the situation, it's a safe place for you. So when you're when you're coming from safety, when you're trying to be safe, it's always creating limitations and it's always keeping you small and trapped. Right. You want to step out of safety and get into awareness. Awareness is way better than safety and gives you more possibilities. And when you're trying to be safe, you've always got to create something to be safe from to justify the fact that you're trying to be safe. So things will show up and you go, oh my God, that feels so dangerous. Well, that's just because you're in the story of I need to be safe. So are you willing to step out of the story that being safe is more important than moving on in your life? Yes, I, I've had a shift before. <laughs> And it was for a year and it felt fantastic and there wasn't anything that could affect me whatsoever. <sighs> I just don't know what was magical about that shift. <laughs> okay. How are you feeling now? Better, worse, the same or different? Uh, a little better. Okay. Whew. Okay. And I just want to hit this one one more time. Are you willing to destroy the belief that you have to make sure you don't lose this person? Am I ready to destroy the belief? Are you willing to destroy that belief right now that you have to make sure you don't lose this person? Yes. <coughs> <coughs> Because remember, if you're trying to make sure you don't lose them, then they're in control. You're not. They have control of your life. Okay. That's feeling better now. Okay. Yeah. All right. See how you do with that. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey, this is Shiraz, and if you made it this far, please click like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. And if you would like shifts like the person in the video, subscribe to our monthly magic program. The link is in the description. You will get monthly coaching as well as emails going out to help boost your vibration, your wealth, your success, and as well as a lot of other perks. And remember, be well, be aware, and be magical.